Hello my beauties and welcome. Finally, I am here with a tutorial on how I achieved my brows. If you want to see how I got those, please continue to watch, okay? First, I'm going to show all the products that I used in to achieve these brows. And the first item is the chalk dust from the crayon case in the letter C. My foundation, Maybelline Super Stay in the shade 360 my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn, my Clean Color Pencil in the shade Dark Brown, a spoolie, a beauty sponge, and my brushes. One of the brushes from the crayon case and the other is Elf, Cosmet Elf Cosmetic. Why am I having a tongue twister? Um, and the other brush, I'm going to use another brush which I use to carve out my, bro my brows. It has no name so I don't even know I don't even remember where I got it from but first I am going to brush the hairs in the direction that they grow then I'm going to add some powder just to absorb any excess oils and that would basically keep my brows matte for a very long time then I'm going to brush the excess powder off again I'm gonna use a spoolie to brush the hair so I don't have too much powder in my brows to start the brows off, I'm going to outline the brows, top and bottom, precisely and as best as possible. And this is optional. You shape your brows in however way you want. Not basically, or not necessarily how I did mine, but however you choose to shape your brows. So after I draw my brows, I'm going to fill those bad boys in and that too you can shade them in however you want however dark however light it's just your preference okay then I'm gonna brush the excess the pencil the product that's in the brow so it, it's not clogged one place it is spread evenly and as you can see i did not put any product in the front of my brows because that's the way i like it but because no one brow has dark from front to back okay and i'm gonna do that with both sides So no, that's the brush I was telling you about that I have forgot its name. But anywho, I'm going to use the concealer to carve the bottom part of my brows. And I am go going to the line as close as possible, but not to touch my eyebrow hairs. And take your time with this part because you want your be brows to be your brows to be snatched. So you don't want to be in no rush. Same thing with the other side. And after that, I am going to blend the product out as seamlessly as possible. Because I'm going to do eyeshadow, that's the reason why um, I used that color shade concealer. If I was going for a natural look, I would just use my, either I would use foundation bottom and top or I would just use um, a concealer that is the exact shade to my skin. But because I'm going to add eyeshadow, that's the reason why I use such light concealer. And I'm going to buff that out. Guys, I was talking to my niece. We were having a little conversation. So you see me talking. 
Next, I'm going to use my foundation to carve the top of my brows. And that you're going to take your time as well. And make sure you do it precisely as possible. And even after that, you're going to see me go back in with my pencil. Just that if I had messed up, go too close or go touch the hairs with the foundation or the concealer. I am just going to use my pencil to draw it over. after putting that conceal that foundation on sorry i am going to blend that out as seamlessly as possible And you always want your brows to look like even cousins or two very close friends. You don't want them to be far, look like way different. I'm going to buff that in as seamlessly as possible. Look at that. Look at that. As I said, if you had made any mistake or you had concealer or put too much foundation where you're not supposed to put it, you can always go back in with your pencil and fix it. Because it's not always perfect. You just have to make mistakes and keep fixing it until you get it how you want it. And guys, that's all I did to get my brows looking so flawlessly carved out. 